Welcome back, guys. We're now at the six month mark of our 41 way ceramic coatings and sealants longevity test. Be sure you're subscribed, hit that bell icon, so make sure you get all the latest updates that I release for all of these series of videos. If you're just joining us, please be sure to check out the entire series of each of these videos, as there is a ton of work that goes into the research, prep, install, and continued testing of these. I've been doing tests like these for the last six to seven years on YouTube, and I've been a detailer for over 25 years. The reason you want to pay attention to these tests as opposed to some of the other YouTubers out there claiming real world testing where they put 20 different products all over a car is because in those tests, each panel is being exposed to different conditions. You know, you may be driving in the snow or the salt or the rain or whatever, but the front bumper is gonna see and last and react differently than a trunk lid or a roof. The purpose behind my longevity testing is that all of the products are exposed to the exact same conditions with no variables other than the weather. This is what sets these tests apart. Because it lasts a year here, does it mean that it'll last a year for you? Absolutely not. But we'll of course have a better idea of what is likely to last the longest for you. And I do this unsponsored without any outside influence, don't have any advertisers, or any, anybody to please. Again, like so many other YouTubers out there. All I ask is that if you do like something you see, please buy it using the links in the description as 100% of the money that this channel receives goes right back into buying more products to test. Other ways you can support the channel are on your screen here. Seriously, my bank account stays with about 20 to $50 in it. As soon as any of the income from this comes in, I'm out there buying products. So with that out of the way, let's get on to the update. First, we'll foam it down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it with an Australian sheep's wool wash mitt, and then of course rinse it off to see how the hydrophobic properties of everything are holding up. So let's see how things are looking. So you know I do sort of regret using a silver hood for this. Well, I've adjusted it in post just so you can see it a little better on camera. Secor's Finest Reserve and Secor's Professional. Secor's Professional looks like it's a little bit more hydrophobic than Finest. Both of those are the 2021 versions because I know there were some issues along the way with some of them. Fortador lasted about seven days. Apex Rehydrobead failed last month or the month before, I forget. DPC, both of those looking all right. And Apex Metal Oxide Coating, also looking all right. Made by Art to Shine. Extreme Solutions Poly Seal, we had already marked that failed. Nanoskin Ultra T1 and T3 Pro. They've been kind of back and forth where they haven't been completely hydrophobic some months and I don't know what's going on with that. But you can see that this month they're doing all right. They uh, hold water a little bit before it breaks the surface tension and falls off. Nanoskin ceramic sealant has failed, had has already failed. NGNT 1K and 1K Plus also look like they're doing all right. Going back to Nanoskin, they're looking at it. So yeah, NGNT Pro 1K and 1K Plus doing all right. 1K Plus doing slightly better. Meguiar's 3-in-1 had already failed. Here we go to some of the Chinese coatings. Avalon King Armor Shield doing all right. Nano Age Nano Bond also doing very good. Warishin. I've been corrected by one of my viewers on the proper way to say that. So it's Warishin 10H. Looks like it's doing all right. And Gion Cancoat Q2, looking very hydrophobic. Drive Auto Nano 9H looking good. Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating. That's that's the one that's been a big surprise for me. Very inexpensive product. Looking like it's performing very well. New Finish Ceramic Spray. It's starting to show some weak uh, some weakness, even though it's not quite to the point where we'd call it weak. Underdog The Sauce Pro, also looking good. That is a PTFE-based product. 
Glossit 10H, Glossit 5H, both looking good. 5H actually almost looks slightly more hydrophobic. What do you think there? NGNT Pro 2K and Pro 3K, looking very good. Those are multiple layer coatings. 3K, I forget how many layers, but there's at least three or four in there. Grio's SIO2, it's starting to look a little bit weak. My other test, it lasted around a year. I think that it's gonna be looking like that too in this test. G-Technic Ultra, IGL Premier, both looking good. IGL Premier is rated for six months. It typically lasts a little bit longer in these tests. And Owner's Pride, ECP and Speedwipe, the next three, very similar, all made by the same manufacturer. I won't go as far as saying they're, that they're the same because I can't prove it. Owner's Pride will tell you that it's some blend that's made for them, but that's a $299 coating where ECP is $18 and Speedwipe, I don't know the cost on that one. But you can see that all three of those performing pretty similarly. It looks like Speedwipe slightly less so. And moving on down to Lone Star Ceramic Coating. It's a pre-production product. It's starting to show a little signs of weakness. IGL Easy Graphene, all right. Ilho has failed. That's the cheap one from AliExpress. Chemical Guys Hydroslick, Hydroslick, Hydrocharge, and their ceramic coating. The Hydroslick and Hydrocharge had already failed pretty early on. Chemical Guys Carbon Force, it's been looking like that since about the four month mark, kind of weak. and Ammo Reflex Pro. It has been looking like this since the 30-day mark. So we've called it weak since the 30-day mark. It's rated, I believe, for a year. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's where we're at. So what do you guys think? A lot more getting weak, but I don't see any failures this month compared to last month. Let me know in the comments if you guys have used any of these products and if what I'm finding here is similar to what your experience is. Let me know, I'd really appreciate it. I've done this in other videos and I love hearing the feedback when it's kind of matching up to what I'm finding as to what you're finding on your personal vehicles. So thanks again for watching guys and we will see you soon.